These are sneaker trends that blew up in 2023. Whenever you're talking about things that are trending or fashionable, it's important to look the part. And so for today's episode, I have decided to wear my bucket hat because the most reputable and authoritative fashion commentary always comes from people wearing bucket hats. Let's start off with probably the most obvious one, the Adidas Samba. The Samba almost didn't make this list. It in fact nearly featured on the video that I made last week about sneaker trends that died this year. But the Samba has continued to hold relevance this year to the point where it is currently in the throes of an absolute wash cycle. It's only a matter of days at this point before it gets completely played out. I need to take a brief moment to talk about one of the most viral sneakers of this year, which was the Big Red Boots by Mischief. It can't be denied these were a trend, these were a thing, before people got them in hand. These took so many people by surprise when they first came onto the scene. Everybody had to have them so that they could post pictures on their Instagram and make content for TikTok. But the funny thing is, is that because there was such a long wait period between ordering them and receiving them, in the time that it took people to actually receive their shoes, this trend had been and gone. Resale was something like $1,500 before they officially dropped. And by the time people had received their pairs in hand after waiting six weeks, resale had plummeted to right around retail. And so this shoe definitely deserves a spot on the list for being one of the most hype, if not short-lived sneaker trends this whole year. Comfy, cozy, convenient footwear once again popped off this year. I want to start off with Crocs, particularly Crocs collabs. You guys remember the Lightning McQueen's release that went down a few months ago? We actually had grown men standing out in line arguing with each other over Lightning McQueen Crocs. Shrek Crocs, Cowboy Boots Crocs. A huge sneaker trend this year was kids themed inspired Crocs. These kitty Crocs even became more popular than one of the Crocs that I actually really rate in the Salehi Banbury Crocs. Birkenstocks have continued to remain popular, but a dark horse or one of the biggest come ups this year in terms of sneaker trends, at least in my opinion from what I've seen, is the whole Uggs trend. I'm not talking about just with girls and women, I'm talking about guys Uggs. There are a couple of men's Uggs that have been doing the trending rounds, and one of them is the Talisman suede slipper, which is notoriously awesome for just kicking it around the house. But the men's Tasman weather hybrid has been getting a lot of play on social media, a lot of rave reviews. These have been selling out in places like Foot Locker. You can't go online to the Uggs websites and cop your size easily. And now that we're fully in the throes of winter, this is definitely one of the trending shoes of the moment. So much so, I'm actually thinking about going and getting myself a pair. Rounding out the comfy, cozy, and convenient sneaker trend theme, I want to mention the Zellerfeld sneakers. These are the recyclable 3D printed shoes that featured in Time Magazine's Best Inventions of 2023. And because a lot of these designs are really fun and really quirky and really out there, they've also become really popular with fashion content creators. 90s runners. It was another huge year for old school running shoes. We've kind of moved on a little bit from the chunky dad shoe trend. And we're now in this era of late 80s, early 90s running shoes, particularly in these metallic colorways. The silver running shoe was massive this year. From Nike, one of the biggest trends that they have been pushing and successfully selling has been the Vimero 5. From Asics, the Gel NYC, which has come hot on the heels of the success of the Gel Keanu 14 from last year. From New Balance, we've seen some really successful collabs in the 990 V6 departments. Saucony have been on the come up this year as well, particularly with their Grid Azura 2000 and the successful JTips collab, as well as the Grid Shadow 2. Outdoor shoes have continued to be really popular this year as well. The Gorp Core trend doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And so brands like Solomon with their XT4 and their XT6 models have continued to do really well. So too has Hooker. This is a brand that has really come up the past two or three years and continues to carve out a really big space for itself. In terms of basketball shoes, it hasn't really been a massive year for basketball shoes, at least in a trend context. And for a lot of you guys watching, this is like a absolute time of celebration and joy because we no longer have to pay over the odds for retro Jordans. 
old school pennies are going on sale, Barclays are out there, they're on sale. And so when I think about it, the only basketball shoes that have really resold this year have been the very limited collabs like the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lows or the J Balvin 3s. Most people seem to be pretty thoroughly done with the 80s and 90s basketball nostalgia at this point. When it comes to Nike, I feel like the most trending Nike sneaker this year has been the Nike SB line, particularly the collabs. I don't think it's too out of pocket to say that Nike SB collabs have pretty much been carrying Nike as a brand this year. In terms of generating hype and generating excitement, telling really cool stories through their sneakers. It's definitely been a really standout year in my opinion for Nike SBs. I asked you guys on my Instagram stories what some of your favorite sneaker trends were from this year and I got some really interesting feedback. Funnily enough a lot of you said that your favorite trend this year was the death of certain trends we've become accustomed to like sneaker resale dying. Some of you also said that your favorite trends from this year included the diversification that brands are showing with their sneaker releases these days. So if you did offer up a perspective on my IG stories, I just wanna say thank you very much. And if you wanna engage with me more directly, feel free to go and give me a follow over on IG. That is today's episode, guys. I have another episode in the locker talking about sneaker trends that I think will pop off next year. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see that. Let me know if there are any other sneaker trends from this year that you witnessed that I haven't mentioned, and I'll be happy to to include them in the next episode. Thanks as always for taking the time to watch. Really appreciate you guys. Appreciate you liking the video too before you bounce and I will see you on the next one. Take care for now and peace.